camera. Um, next up, um, it, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you one of Derry's finest socialist trade union organisers and leaders. Gareth Moore is regional organiser for Aegis the Union and current secretary of Derry Trade Union Council. Representing Aegis members since 2013 and being awarded the Union Learning Rep of the Year Award from the Northern Ireland Committee of the Irish Council of Trade Unions. Leading negotiations with local employers around terms and conditions and recently launching the Dairy Call Centre campaign. A dedicated community activist who through his charity work has helped raise £135,000 to build schools in Nepal, one of the poorest areas, countries in the world. Gareth Moore everyone. Thank you, comrades. First of all, I just want to express my gratitude to you all for coming out here today. By standing here today, your testament to your commitment to fight against the brutal attacks on ordinary people. You will hear from some amazing speakers today, particularly healthcare workers. You are much better positioned to speak on the subject of the deliberate and managed decline of our national health service. And about the ultimate goal of this decline, the, privatize, the privatization agenda, which seeks to bring an end to the National Health Service as we know it. Let me provide you with a few high level statistics just to set the tone. According to a recent YouGov poll, 77% of public supports a pay increase of at least 10%. 82% of people believe that the government should increase funding to the NHS. The overwhelming majority of people in the north and across the UK are calling for increased funding and pay for the NHS. So we must ask ourselves, comrades, why hasn't this been done in a supposed democratic society? Well, it's not a matter of there being no money. It's a matter of choices. Unfortunately, those making the choices have already been bought and paid for. We've seen this through COVID-19, with PPE contracts being handed out to family and friends of corrupt politicians. It is clear to everyone that our democracy is no longer acting in the interest of us, the people, but purely in the pursuit of profit for a chosen few. So our direction is clear, folks. We must stand together and fight together. We must fight for a future where the NHS still exists, where children receive high quality free education. We fight to return power back to the rightful place, the voters, not the donors. If we do one thing today, let it be that we send a message. We will not allow people to be priced out of existence so that a billionaire can make another billion. We will not allow people to be frozen and starved in their homes. And we will never allow for the destruction of our NHS. Solidarity, comrades. 